What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this wheel spin transition instead of After Effects. Now to start off with this effect, obviously you need two different clips to transition from. So ideally you do want to have a wheel for your second clip here. You can use other objects, but for this example, I am going to be using a wheel. And what I'm going to do is just bring this clip over. So it kind of overlays onto our first clip here. So once you have it overlaid on this first clip, we can just go here and select the uh, ellipse tool. If you don't have that, it's on the rectangle. You just want to hold down and then select the ellipse tool. And then while holding down shift, you can create a circle around the wheel. Let's bring the mask to none and then we can adjust this mask to kind of fit around the wheel here as you can see part of the wheel is kind of covered up right here so ideally you probably don't want that but for this footage right here it is covered up all right so once you have that for the first frame we can go here and right click our mask track it and just analyze forward now that that's tracked we can bring this to add so now we just have the wheel here and what i'm going to do is hit s on my keyboard to bring up the scale we're going to scale this down to 30 percent and let's just go ahead and set a keyframe right there. Then let's go to the end. So where the first clip ends right here, we're going to bring this back up to 100%. And we're just going to select these and hit F9 to easy ease them. Or you can right click the keyframes, keyframe assistant and easy ease. But once they're easy ease, just select them and go into the graph editor. And I'm going to create a graph where it speeds up super fast at the start and actually goes beyond 100%. So it kind of scales up and it scales back down like that. And you can play around with this. This doesn't have to be exactly like what I have here. And also, if you're not seeing this kind of graph, you want to make sure that you are in the auto select graph type, because if you're not, the graph might look something like this. And that's because you're in the speed graph and not the value graph. So I just like to have the auto select graph type enabled. Now what we can do is go into our rotation. So let's hit R and let's set a keyframe for the rotation. I'm actually just going to drag this over to the end so that the keyframe is just at 0%. Let's go back to the start here and let's just bring that percentage up. And you can see you have a rotation, but <laughs> it looks awful and just kind of going all over the place. So to fix that, you want to make sure your anchor point is actually in the center of the frame here. As you can see, it's a bit off center. So to fix that, you just want to make sure you have that footage enabled and then go to layer, transform and center anchor point and layer content right here. Now you can see the anchor point moved to the center of the footage. So the footage is now spinning correctly, but it's really fast, honestly. So I'm gonna slow that down. Let's just bring that back a little bit, something like that. And I'm also gonna easy ease these keyframes. So F9 again, and then go into the graph editor, make it so it speeds up super fast and it slows down. And then let's go ahead and enable motion blur on this clip. And there we go, it's already looking a lot better, but as you can see, it just goes into a black screen. So to fix that, let's just duplicate this clip here. I just hit control D and then on this bottom layer, let's bring this to none for the mask right here. But as you can see, our background footage now has that same effect applied to it. So we just wanna remove that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rotation and the scale that we messed with earlier. So let's just go ahead and delete all those keyframes here. And then also right click here and hit reset. So everything's back to the default values. Then we want to go to that background footage and trim it down. So it only starts right after that clip ends. Now everything's looking good, but as you can see, we have these black edges at the bottom and we want to go ahead and remove those. And we don't want to move this bottom clip around like this to kind of fit the frame because when the wheel goes back into position, you can see it's just not aligned with the uh, original footage. So to kind of fix this. We just want to go ahead and pre-compose our transition there and open up the scale and just set a keyframe at the beginning there and then you just want to set a keyframe at the end of that clip so you don't see this black um, edges and there we go now you can see the edges are now fixed and what i like to do from here is actually pre-compose both of these layers and where that transition happens right here i like to split the clip and what i like to do here is actually add shake to it so what you can do is apply any kind of shake you want. S underscore shake is a super popular one that you can use, but it's from Sapphire and it's pretty expensive. So if you want to go ahead and use that effect, then you can. But if you want to go ahead and download some shake presets that I created, you can go ahead and download them in the link in the description. I have some free effects that you can go ahead and try out, or you can go ahead and purchase the whole entire pack. And they're super easy to use. You just want to make sure you have motion blur enabled for the clip. And then let's go ahead and apply one of these shakes here. I'm going to use the shake Y and rotate. Let's go ahead and play this back. And there you go. You can already see it looks way better from the original. The shake kind of helps just like add impact to this transition. And I think it just makes it all around look a lot better. So yeah, that's pretty much how you create this transition inside of After Effects. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.